Okay, listen up, please, guys. Listen up. Now, we've got two big games against Glentoran today and two big chances to take a big step towards European football next season. Now, I know we don't have the best record against Glentoran in the Cups. Uh, it's horrible, actually. But uh, I believe that you guys have what it takes to turn that around and get the job done today unless it goes to penalties, uh, in which case, McQuaid, I'm going to need you to fake a heart attack, mate. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome to Season 6, Episode 11 here at H&W Wellness on the Impossible Dream as we look to win a European Cup with this Northern Irish side. And today we have a chance to get back into Europe for next season, or we'll certainly take a big step towards it. We will be facing Glen Torren twice, once in the league and then once in the Northern Irish Cup semi-final. Now you can see here, if we look at our history against Glen Torren, we do overall have a winning history against them. But if we look at how we've done in the Cups... Quarterfinal of the League Cup, we lost 2-0. If we go down to Northern I the, the Cup semi-final, we lost on penalties. That was heartbreaking. Then if we go down to the Irish Cup quarterfinal, we lost on penalties. We have been knocked out of this competition the past two seasons by Glen Torren, both times after a 1-1 draw and then going down on penalties. So it would be a wonderful, wonderful thing to take a little bit of revenge on them today. Let's hope we can do that and get ourselves back into this Irish Cup final. Actually, it might be the first time we've made the Irish Cup final proper, isn't it? We've made the League Cup and the Antrim Cup final, but we haven't made the Irish Cup final proper. Now, there's one game to catch you up on since last episode. That was in the league after the split, away to Linfield, a very tough game. Let's see how we got on. We fell behind early. And we're 2-0 down when Popple failed to cover himself in glory. Before Linfield got a third moments later. So we were much better, in, well, much better. We were better in the second half than we were in the first half. We limited their chances. We were just shockingly outplayed in this one. I did do the old move of figuring we're not going to beat them anyway, so let's rest the first team players. And we didn't win. So, you know, we got what we sort of deserved in that sense, I suppose. So if we look at the league table coming in to today's episode, we are still in third. We are playing Glen Torrent at home in the league. It is the easiest game we will get, in theory, in this uh, in this post-split league. Um, yeah, and it means Ballymena and Coleraine have to either be playing each other or Lionel Linfield. So it means that they are one of them at least is likely to drop points. So if we can get a win here, go six points clear potentially of Ballymena, um, that would be a great thing. Ideally, I think we want Coleraine to beat Ballymena. We can probably check the fixtures. One second here. Uh, that's easier to do this rather than guess. So they are playing. Why didn't I think of that before? So they are playing each other. So ideally here for us, Coleraine will beat Ballymena, will beat Glen Torren, will go six points clear. And uh, there'll be, what, three games four, yeah, three games left to play. So that would be uh, a wonderful thing if we could get that go our way. Let's have a look at what we're doing here. It is a 4-4-2 that we're expecting from Glen Torren. And this is the team we're sending out. Now, we are favoring the cup game. So hopefully that's not going to come back and, and, and bite us. But it's Popple in goal. It's Denham, Hall, and Murphy. Now, Denham, crucially, is happy at the club again. So... We've taken him off the transfer list. I still don't think we're going to renew his contract, but at least he's happy. Simpson goes down the right. Divine down the left. That is the big risk we have uh, coming into this one. Willis and Cundell in midfield. It is, actually, they're better off switching, I think. So it'll be Cundell and Willis in midfield. And Mr. X-Ray Vision Simpson in behind Roddy and Byrne. So let's get out there. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. I don't recognize any ex-players of ours in their lineup. Uh, this is the first. Let's show them what we're made of. All right, we can get on board with that, I suppose, can't we? Point our fingers, go out there, make a difference, and hopefully put on a good performance here. All right, and let's hope that Coleraine can do us a favor and uh, will at least take a point off of Balamina for us, and that would put us in a nice position. Simpson over a free kick. It's towards Hall. Hall is there. He's unmarked. Oh, it's disallowed. That's probably why he's unmarked. Let's see how close it was. Oh, it's flashing. It's just let it stand, linesman. That's the linesman's made that decision, hasn't he? There's no, uh, there's no video replay. Let that go. What happened to advantage to the attacker? Unbelievable. All right. Linfield's taking the lead at Larn. That is not our division. That's a whole division of itself, isn't it? We're looking for a score to come through from. Coleraine, but first up, we need to make sure that we're getting the job done here as well. 
Not much of a game, is it? Let's try a demand more, perhaps. And, um, yeah, two teams cancelling themselves out, perhaps, there. A snooze fest of a first half. Let's say, let's say we're not happy with that. We need to have a little bit higher ambition than just uh, playing out a nil-nil draw here, please, guys. Do we want to change anything about the way we're going about this? All right, let's try lowering the tempo. If they're going to just sit back and be annoying, let's just try lowering the tempo, taking our time, and see if that helps us at all. Let's try exploit the middle, look for overlaps. Let's take it off that. Just maybe we could work a bit of a better chance for ourselves. Um, encourage anything, boys. Would be nice. All right. Let's try wingers then. Um, so that's going to mean we'll keep Roddy on as a target man. It's going to mean going coming on for simp... No. Gowan coming on for Hall. Simpson moving up to a number 10. And Ebioe coming on to play as a left winger for us. Kundel, you go as the deep liar. Maybe just sit back a little bit for me. Willis, go box to box. And that is all looking a little bit better. I don't want to... They're a counter-attacking team, so I don't want to give them a reason. Like, I don't want to give them any space to counter-attack into. We want to try and draw them out if we can. Let's go a little bit more direct, a little bit more width. And hopefully, with 20 minutes to play, just changing things up a touch will work in our favor. Simpson's having a poor game. Let's get him off for the youngster Hill. And we've got a highlight. Murphy heads it away. Golan, can he get to that? Not quite. And is the change of formation actually going to backfire? Gowen's made a really good tackle there. That's excellent. Gowen's contract is up at the end of the season. I do think we want to try and keep him. It's just what his wage is as much as anything. Um, he's maybe after a little bit more than ideally we'd like. But we do need to have a right wing option. Uh, and he's stayed down there. Let's just maybe cancel that and see if he's okay. Roddy, he's got Ebioe going through the middle. Can Roddy find him? It's a good ball. Here we go with Ebioe. Can he find the goal for us? Ebioe, no. It's still there for him. Ebioe, it is there. And Ebioe gives us the lead with 10 to play. A ninth goal of the season. Roddy's played him in beautifully. And it is 1-0 to the Welders. Really, really nice ball from Roddy, wasn't it? Into his path. Didn't have to break stride. First attempt was saved. But he did get a second crack at it with his right foot as well. And there it is. 1-0 to the Welders. Let's give them some praise for that. It appears that Gowan is okay. So let's go ahead with that change at right back since Simpson is a moron. And we should probably start and close this thing down, shouldn't we? Um, Alright, we want to go ultra defensive. Don't love having Divine as a defensive fullback, but... <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Um, we don't really have the option. To, oh, no, Gowan has picked up an injury. Anyway, it's done now. We can't go back and change it. Let's lower this down. Let's do that. Be more disciplined. Play for set pieces. Uh, regroup. Slower down. And, yeah, we'll keep doing that. We'll keep doing that. And we have something to defend, do we? We do not. Let's count it down. Count it down. Oh, no. Don't you dare. With 10 seconds to play. Gather it away, boys. Gather it away. Popple's there. Oh, you're not going to give a freaking penalty. What's happened? Divine, you idiot. All you had to do was not push someone. Come on, Popple. Make a save, please. Oh, we're over time. It's the last kick of the game. Come on, Pops. Come on, Pops. Oh, he's hit the post. And it's cleared away. And we have got away with it there. And that is the final whistle. Well, let's hope we haven't lost all our luck up on that one. But there we go. We have dodged a massive Glentoran-shaped bullet there. We have picked up three points. We want more of the same. Actually, let's uh, don't get complacent for the next one. And uh, let's hope that Coleraine's got to win. So it's a 1-1 draw in Coleraine. That gives us a five-point gap now between ourselves and Balamina. With three games to play, and they have got to play 
the top two as well, I believe, don't they? Let's have a look. Okay, so Lan and Valamina. So you'd, they'd struggle to get a result there. You would think Valamina, Linfield, and then they play us. So you've got to fancy us now with that five-point gap. That third is just about in the bag. So with that being done, I think we need to vote for Viewers Player of the Year. Uh, so uh, wait right there, guys. We'll be back and uh, we will be doing just that. Okay, welcome back. Now it is time, as I said, to vote for your Viewers Player of the Year. Uh, now, thank you everybody who did nominate players. We were left with four clear nominees. Uh, so that is uh, obviously the four people we have to vote on here. So in alphabetical order, they are Hamzid Kagbo, our wonderful target man striker. 14 goals for him this season, four assists, and an average match rating of 7.43. Second up, it is his strike partner, Trilucas. 16 goals for him, just the one assist. He is a striker, isn't he? And an average match rating of 7.23. The third nominee is Mr. X-Ray Vision himself, Sean Simpson. Or is it Stuart? It's Sean, isn't it? I'm going to get it wrong the other way now. He has three goals this season, seven assists, and an average match rating of 6.95. And the final nominee is George Tipton. Three goals, 12 assists, and an average match rating of 7.13. Now, as ever, the way this will work, there'll be a link right down on top of the description. Go and click on that. It'll take you through to a straw poll. Um, you'll be able to vote for who you think has been our best or your favorite player this season. And then we will announce the winner in what I'm assuming is going to be next episode's end of season awards, unless something starts to go horribly wrong in the league. And hopefully next episode will involve a cup final for us as well. Let's have a look and see what we're doing here. We are away. Well, actually not away. We're at, uh, I think it's at Windsor Park. The other semi-final that we can see is done. Gennon versus Linfield. Now, again, a reminder, we want, well, we want Lan to win that. <laughs> and we want Linfield to beat Dun Gennon. Yes, it will lessen our chances of winning the final. But what it will do is guarantee third in the league going to um, going to Europe. So that's what we want. Uh, Popple is in goal. It's Edgar Hall and Okocha. Or maybe we want to play Dungan and win the whole thing. Maybe we want to beat Linfield in the final. Um, but anyway, that's all beside the point. It is Hall down the right, Boyle down the left, McQuaid and Tipton in midfield, Ebioe in behind, Cargbo and Lucas. Let's get out there. All right, so it's all changed for us. It looks there's a few different names in their lineup as well, I think. So it may well be that we've, <laughs> we've both rested players for this one. Um, Go out there and enjoy yourself. I think I can get on board with that. There's no pressure here. Let's pump our fists. Come on, boys. Let's put on a performance. Let's get ourselves to this cup final. And, uh, yeah, well, let's hope that we can we can go on and win it. Yeah, it's sort of a, it's a little bit of a tear of torn situation, isn't it? Where, you know, do we want to play Linfield in the final, I guess, knowing that third in the league is going to go to Europe? Or do we want to play Dungan and knowing that we're a much better chance of beating them? And, of course, we won't be playing them on their home ground. It will most likely be here at Windsor Park. And we'll have the wide open spaces to play around them. So maybe we do want Dungannon to win. A bit of an all or nothing play there. Um, but of course, we've got, to, we've got to win first, don't we? We've got to win first. So let's go and do that. Um, it is obviously a big risk picking McQuaid for a game like this that could go to penalties. <laughs> because we know what his history is against Glenn Torren in the cup against uh, in shootouts. There's a good ball for him though. Uh, Abioe. Oh, that is stunning. Malcolm Abioe. With a tenth of the season, that is a goal of the season contender. What a strike from Ebioe. He has scored twice now against Glen Torren in about, what, 20 minutes of play. A little bit longer, maybe. When did he come on in that uh, league game? But it's a wonderful strike. McQuaid, ball forward. Ebioe takes a touch, turns, shoots. Goalkeeper will maybe want it back. But what a goal from Ebioe. One nothing to the good guys. And we have uh, maybe just a toenail in this cup final. Now, the big question, of course, is can we defend properly? We've got our first choice defense out there. So let's hope that uh, they can indeed get the job done. Not much highlights so far. And, well, we didn't see much from Glenn Torren in the league either, did we? So maybe uh, maybe they're a little bit goal shy just now. XG would suggest it's an even game, but neither team perhaps deserves, uh, deserves a goal. Uh, we're going to have to point our fingers. Boys, do not get complacent. Or do we say, you're capable of better. You're capable of better, boys. You've done well, but you are, you're capable of more. And we are 45 minutes away. It would be a first ever Irish Cup final for us, of course. We, as I said before, we have made the County Antrim final. We've made the League Cup final. We've lost them both. I think both to Linfield as well. But we've never made the Irish Cup final. Ball in. Oh, no. 
and it's 1-1, and Boyle at the back post has showed uh, why he's not the best defensively. Ball in, Boyle just just too slow to react. Popple doesn't look like he was particularly interested in saving it either, does he? Let's give them some encouragement. Come on, boys, let's go and uh, get a second goal now. Um... Do we want to change anything? Oh, we've got another highlight, and it's at the wrong end of the field. Let's go win this, please. Come on, McQuaid, win it. No, he doesn't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a good block there from Okocha. Ebio, he gets it forward early for Lucas. Can try Lucas pull out some magic now? He cuts in. He has a shot. It's nowhere near it. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's demand more. Um... Did I raise the tempo? No, we already had a high tempo, didn't we? So let's try lowering it, doing that, take it off that, and see where this takes us. Ten minutes to play. It's 1-1. One, one. It's going to go to penalties again, isn't it? There's nothing surer. We should just go straight to penalties. Just call it a 1-1 one, one draw, go to penalties, and, and lose. That seems to be what happens. They're very happy with a draw there, aren't they? Um, don't let this slip away now. We can get on board with that, I think. We'll pump our fists again. We have faith in you. Trilucas isn't having the best game. Now, we could bring Sean Simpson on. We could bring Bobby Roddy on. Neither of them are spectacular penalty takers. Trilucas isn't bad from the spot, is he? No, oh, he's just as bad. Um... Hall's not having a great game either. Let's try... Oh, here we go. Here we go. All the goals have been at this end. Can we get another one? Or both goals, I should say. McQuaid to Tipton. Tipton forward to Cargbo. Back to Tipton. Ebioe. Nice run there from Cargbo. It's fallen for Lucas. Lucas is in. Lucas sticks it away. A 17th of the season for him. And it is 2-1. That breaks the curse. It can't be 1-1 and go to penalties now. The curse, I'm going to say, has been broken. Can we go in and win this thing now? A little bit of luck there with uh, the tackle on Cargbo just falling beautifully for Lucas, and he couldn't really miss, could he? Well, he's not going to miss that. Not our Lucas. Excellent stuff. Now, what we should probably do is just back it off of attack. It can't be offside because the defender played the ball. It does. That doesn't matter, does it? Because everything is on. Uh, maybe it would have mattered. I don't. Know. Anyway, it doesn't. It doesn't matter because it's not being given. Balanced, please, boys. Keep your heads. We have been the better team. We do deserve to go through, I think. And that is half time and extra time. Um, Ebioe is tied, but Ebioe is a penalty taker. He's got, kind of got to stay on just in case. Let's praise them. At what point do we start going full close down? Probably around about now, isn't it? So, lower tempo. This is it. We're, we're playing out the game now, hoping to find ourselves. Do we compact up the lines in the cup final? Oh, it's a highlight. And it's the end of all the goals have been scored. McQuaid does well. It's still there for them. It's, oh, you have got to be kidding me. As if that goes in. And we've got to go and undo all this now. That, and that is the most annoying thing. I'm almost more annoyed about that than the fact I shouldn't have. You know what I shouldn't have done is that. That is what's cost us there. And it's 2-2 and there's three minutes before penalties. And as if they've scored a goal like that. McQuaid's done well. Oh. It's literally the only place he could have scored that. All right. Let's actually take a quick look at penalty takers here. Is there anybody on the bench? That shouldn't be. Moran is a decent penalty taker. He can come on for Boyle. Boyle's useless, isn't he? In more ways than one. So we'll make that change. Simpson is decent. He can come on for... I mean, Tipton has good composure, which we probably do want, don't we? So let's, let's just leave that then. Oh, and of course it's going to penalties. 
Um, have no regrets. Re relax, pick your spot. No, just have no regrets. What is it with Glenn Torrid in the cups? 2-2 two, two it is this time. Can we finally beat them in a shootout? Ebiyoi goes first. Ebiyoi sticks his penalty away. All right. Pressure moves on to Boyce Muntz now. Popple. Can he make a save? Oh, he goes the right way, but he cannot. Is it Moran stepping? It's William McQuaid. Well, it's early. Maybe that's the that's the benefit. He, he owes us. He's missed every penalty against Glenn Torin, and he sticks one away. All right, maybe this curse is broken. We just needed the second goal. Popple to face Duxbury now. Now, is this who missed the penalty in the league game? Have another miss, mate. Oh, and Popple makes a save. As he grabs it, he holds it just to taunt him even more. And now Moran comes up. Now, we brought him on just to do this. Come on, Maddie boy. Oh, no. I think he's killed an old lady in the crowd with that one. And, well, we're back even. Popple. Oh, and I, I tell you what, someone up there is not very popular. He's been hit twice. Hall steps forward, and we still have a lead. Come on, Luca. Luca Hall. Okay, we are one penalty away. If they miss this, we're through to the final. We have finally beaten them in a shootout. Popple, you can do this, mate. Anderson steps forward for them. Now, even if they score this... We have a chance to win it. And I wonder who will step forward to take the potentially winning penalty. Come on, Popple. Oh, it is in. It's 3-2. And this is it. Score and we're through. Miss and all the... It's Cargbo. Wouldn't we want anybody else? Come on, Cards. Oh. If we miss this, they're going to beat us, aren't they? You can see it coming. Come on, Cargbo. Put us in the final, mate. Come on, Hamzad. He does it. And we're going to the Irish Cup final. Go on, boys. Excellent stuff. The curse is broken. We have finally, finally beaten Glen Torren in the cup, in the shootout. And that is incredible. Now, instantly results turn to other, uh, to other games. No, uh, thoughts turn to other results, I should say. It will be done. Gannon Swifts in the final. They have stunned Linfield. So, it's all or nothing. Third in the league is not going to guarantee us some European football. We have got money in the bank, but what we do have is a very, very good chance to go and win the thing now as well. Um, well done to you, Mr. Tipton. Uh, Keister, oh, he's everywhere. He's, he's, he's the number one fan, isn't he? And there it is. The final will be Dungan and Swifts versus Harland and Wolf Welders. It's uh, not the final I think people would have been dreaming of, but it's going to be the final nonetheless. Guys, if you've enjoyed that, hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And unless something starts to... Oh, actually, the league game. We need to see what happened in the league, don't we? Um, Bellamina appear to have lost. They have lost. So unless something goes horribly wrong, we, 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 should, we should be going to get third in the league at this point. They have two games to play. One against Linfield, one against us. So, as I said, unless something goes horribly wrong, we'll we'll assume that we're going to get third at this point. And that means we will be back next episode to end the season with the Irish Cup final and a chance, oh, a chance to win our first major silverware at the club and guarantee ourselves Euro European football next season. So, if you've enjoyed that, as I said, guys, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time for the Cup final. Take care.